half in the bag. I like to eat cheeseburgers. Oh my god! The North Korean missile is still headed towards my house! Which is also still on the bottom of Lake Michigan! Hey Mike, do you remember North Korea? No. Hey Jay, do you remember the movie The Interview? What a hit! Oh no, the missile's still gonna blow us up? No, it's not! It's gonna dislodge us and send us back to the surface. My plan's gotta work. Oh, I think it just hit the house. I think. Oh, I guess it was a dud. Oh, thank goodness for faulty North Korean technology. What a bunch of hacks. Got it. Got what? The joke I just made. What was the joke? Hacks. Like with the computer, you do the hacking. They did, they did the Sony, the Sony hack thing. Oh, is that that thing where everyone saw Jennifer Lawrence's boobs? No, no, Jay. That was X Men. Mm. Get out! Inherent vice, more like incoherent vice. Well, I've got another plan to get us to the goddamn surface. Oh, really? What's that? Well, I'm gonna draw a picture of the Prophet Muhammad, and then when the Muslims come down to kill us, we're gonna hijack their submarines and take them back to the surface. Mm, I don't know about that one, Mr. Plinkett. It sounds pretty dangerous. What else do you got? Hmm. Do you remember when I told you I used to be a hot air balloon pilot? No. No. Hey, Mike, did you know Mr. Plinkett used to be a hot air balloon pilot? Or racer? Or whatever the fuck you call it? Hmm, I did not know that, Jay. I wonder how that'll come into play later. Oh. Oh. Well, I found my old hot air balloon up in my attic. So? So, my doctor says I have a condition called hyperflatulence. That means I fart a whole bunch. More than Mickey Rourke. And sometimes, even more than Jay Leno. Oh my God. My doctor said that if I eat just one bean, I'll fart a full 35 pounds of metric pressure. That means if a mouse were living near my filthy asshole, I could literally kill it. Oh my God, this is my life. So Mr. Plinkett, your plan is to fill your hot air balloon with farts and float us to the surface? Yes. I'm going to eat those industrial-sized cans of beans, and then I'm going to fart a lot. Really? This is where the show's gone? It's a, it's a really good movie, actually. Um, it's a, it's, it, he does a good job. He really has a, a prosthetic on his face to make him look more like a guy. I'm still hungry for beans. Oh God, it's working! Oh God, it's, it's gonna happen. Oh God, that wasn't a fart. Oh no. Oh, what have I done? Oh shit! Oh. Hopefully not literally. Oh my God! Oh. Okay, now it's coming. Now this is oh God! Oh God, it's gonna happen! Half in the bag. What stupid piece of crap movie is he gonna talk about now? Oh God, it's coming! Oh God, I can feel it! It's, it's gonna happen! Oh my Hell? God! What the hell is he yelling about? Oh, not yet! Not yet! Almost there! Oh, oh God! Oh. Mike, don't you remember? Mr. Plinkett ate all those beans so he could fart into his hot air balloon. Oh, 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 you grabbed the hot air balloon from his attic. It's not quite coming out yet! 
It's not. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. But do you really think farting in a hot air balloon is going to lift this whole house up to the surface? I don't care. Oh, it's coming! And if it did work and the house ascended to the surface really fast, wouldn't we get what they call the runs? Mike, I think you mean the bends. And no. Hey, speaking of ascension, have you seen the new Wachowski film, Jupiter Ascending? No. How the fuck am I supposed to see a new film when I'm stuck in a house in the bottom of Lake Michigan while a fat guy eats beans so that he can fart inside of a hot air balloon? Let's watch it! Okay. Oh, God. This is, this is kind of uncomfortable. Oh, I'm gonna be the first man in history to have a cesarean fart. It's still coming. It's coming. It's gonna. It's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess my stupid farting idea isn't gonna work. Oh! Oh my God! It's gonna happen! Get the hot air balloon! Give me the balloon! What? Give me the balloon! The balloon! Where's it? Oh my God! Oh, oh Jesus God. Christ! Put it by your ass! Put it by your ass! Right but Jay, when this thing fills up and rises, wouldn't it just tear the roof off? I mean, the roof wasn't designed to lift the weight of the whole house. Yeah, just pretend you're in a Wachowski's movie. Ignore all physical reality. All right, that's fair. Half in the bag. Fuck movies. Oh, thank God we're finally out of that plot line. I mean, out of the bottom of Lake Michigan. That's right, Jay. And I hope we get to land real soon. I'm dying to find out who won at this year's Oscars. That's right, Mike. I can't wait to congratulate Richard Linklater on winning Best Director. That's right. I have no doubt that Boyhood took home every award it was nominated for. How could it not? It took 12 years to make. What's that? What's that? Oh my god. Holy shit, my phone's blowing up! Emails, texts, Twitters, you name it! Yeah, we were so far down underwater, we must not have been getting reception. But now that we've cleared the surface, it looks like we could start getting data on our phones again. Fuck yeah! I have 54,000 vines to watch. Do you know what this means? Yeah, it means I can check my grinder app again. Hey, looks like there's two guys DTF within five feet of my current location. Uh, 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 hey, speaking of apps, I have an illegal app on my phone that downloads Hollywood films directly from their servers. It's called Trash Picker. Whoa. Hey, you know, I saw a trailer a couple months ago. It's for a heartwarming robot film called Chappie. Hmm. Do you think you could download that film? I'd like to watch it and then talk about how bad it was. <laughs> yeah, they have it. Here, I'll uh, download it and we can watch it on my phone. Oh, great, great. You know, I'm just gonna shut my phone off. Might as well save some battery. Sure. Huh. 
One of those two guys just dropped off my grinder app. Oh well, I'm gonna go outside and take a walk. Okay. Yeah, it's downloading. Oh, well, that's going pretty fast. Yeah, well, you know, good Wi-Fi connection. It goes pretty quick. Maybe it's because we're up in the sky, you know? Yeah. Oh! Is this headache medicine? No, I think it's heart medicine. Well, that'll work. <laughs> ah, crap! What is it? It looks like Hollywood has disabled the trash picker app. Uh, oh well. It looks like we'll have to find another way to see new movies. I wonder where our adventures will take us next. Hey, you guys still need me to fart a lot? I'm gonna go eat these beans. We'll do that again. Half in the bag. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Whoa, there's some strong winds today, Jay. How can you tell? Well, before we were moving slow, and now we're moving fast. Mm, you're right, Mike. I hope we can find a place to safely land this house, or Mr. Plinkett will be furious. Who knows, Jay? You and I seem to have bad luck. Wherever we go, it follows. It follows. In fact, you could say that it follows us fast and furious. Let's just talk about the fucking movies, okay? Wow. Whoa. Well, oh, that's interesting. Well, Jay, it looks like we've drifted about 70 miles south of Milwaukee. How can you tell that? Well, because we're about to crash into the Sears Tower. Oh, God, no, not the Sears Tower. Don't you mean the Willis Tower? They changed the name a few years ago. Oh, that's right. Huh. Oh, God, no, not the Willis Tower. Actually, Mr. Plinkett, you're wrong. They've changed the name again. Now it's called the Viagra Tower. Oh no, not the Viagra Tower. You suppose Viagra sponsored it because it looks like a giant black erection? That's the first thing I thought of too. And apparently so have a lot of other people. There's a whole bunch of negative comments. So they've changed the name again. Now it's called the Chicago Bears Tower. Well, why'd they call it that? That building doesn't look like it really, really sucks. It seems like a nice, sturdy, dependable building. The kind of building that doesn't embarrass its city at every available opportunity. Ah, the Chicago Bears Tower! Oh, whatever. Half in the bag. Hey, don't you got anything better to do? Oh no, we're about to hit the Chicago Bears Tower. Whoa! It looks like we didn't. Hey, Jay, let's talk about two new movies. Half in the bag. Fuck all this stupid popcorn shit. Well, Jay, that certainly was a very exciting ending to a long storyline. We stopped those jewel thieves, we saved the president, and we even taught that conservative town to enjoy rock music. That's right, Mike. 
Although I do feel bad that we left Plinkett stranded on top of that mountain. Oh, right. Oh, so cold, so, so cold. Eh, whatever. What's more amazing is that we made it down that freezing mountain with no coats or climbing gear. Mm. Well, Mike, we should probably get back to work. I'm sure we have hundreds of orders from asshole hipsters that want their VCRs repaired. That's right. What? What the fuck are those things on the walls? There's like a little cartoon pig riding on a Twinkie. Oh my god, it's a tarted. It certainly is. What the fuck is all this? Oh, uh, hi, can I help you? Do you, do you need your uh, Atari 2600 fixed? What the fuck is that? Or your Nintendo or Sega Saturn. What are you fuckers doing in our store? You must be Mike and Jay. The landlord told us about you. He said you've been gone for months and never paid your rent. So he let us have the building. What's rent? I don't know. Fuck you! Yeah, we took over this business legally from Tim Heidecker right after he flew through the ceiling to start a web series about two guys that review movies. Well, sorry dudes, but it's our shop now and business is bombing. Uh, booming. Business is booming? What's wrong with that man? Yeah, so take that box of personal stuff with you when you leave. Mike, what are we gonna do? I'm sure I'll think of something really terrible and stupid. Okay. But first, we've got to stall them. Uh, hey guys, I feel like we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. What do you say we all go out together and watch a movie? How about Disney's Marvel's The Avengers 2, The Age of Ultron? No. Yeah, what do we look like to you? A couple of mouth-breathing man-children? Hey, I resent that, good sir. I am not a man-child. Oh, jeez, the bottom broke on oh, the box. God damn it. <sighs> oh, no. All of our man-child toys fell all over the floor. Give us a moment to pick them up. Oh no! My gizmo lost his body. That's not gizmo, that's the other Grumblin from Grumblins 2, the new batch. My Lenny lost his body. That's right. Oh no, my Return of the Jedi speeder is broken. Warp's okay. Oh, that's perfect. Jack, this is, this is so sad to watch. A stay puff marshmallow guy. I don't know, I, I feel sorry for him. Why don't, why don't you put that Pokemon machine down? We'll just go watch the movie with him. Sure, sure. Can I, can I bring my portable Pokemon machine? Oh, good, good, God, yeah. Oh, of course you're bringing the portable Pokemon machine. Do you, have, do you have Emerald or, or Ruby? Both. Oh, good. Yeah. I think that was, that was that. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for the Avengers 3, where they all get together and fight another super powerful being. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mike, Jay, uh, Rich and I have actual work to do. So please get out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. yeah. After that whole discussion, they just treat us like garbage. Uh, well, I guess we should go. Yeah. Oh, Mike! What? Didn't you say you were going to come up with a plan to get these guys out of here? Oh, shit, that's right. I was supposed to be thinking of a plan. You know, we just talked about the Avengers for so long, I forgot. Oh, you fuckhead. What are we going to do now? I don't know, Jay, but I'm sure it'll be violent and terrible and very poorly thought out. Oh, oh, God. Well, those guys coming back, they said they'd be back in a few minutes. Half in the bag. Fuck movies. <sighs> Landel Calrissian. Nintendron controller? Wef? Wef? Oh. 
previously played video game repair shop. We put the gay in gaming. How can I help you? You'd like your Pokemon machine fixed? Now tell me, why would a grown man need a Pokemon machine? You play it to relieve stress. How much stress can you have living in your mom's basement? <laughs> what? Which one am I, the fat one or the bald one? I'm neither, I'm their son. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. You come on down to the shop. I'll show you where to stick your Game Boy. <laughs> Did you just say you're their son? What does that even mean? Hey, Jay. Why are you even answering their phone? We just snuck in while they were out on their lunch break so I could pick up some movies I left behind. Oh, what movies? Oh, uh, Mom, Can I Keep Her? 500 pounds of furry fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Black Spring Break, the movie. That's a good one, that's a good one. You've seen that one? Yeah, oh, okay. Numerous times. Uh, My Uncle the Alien. Also a good one, also a classic. Oh, and The Road Warrior, I oh. guess. Yeah. Hey, speaking of post-apocalyptic looking women crashing cars, have you seen- Oh, the Bruce Jenner interview. What? The fuck is wrong with you? That's not funny. Then why'd you write it? I didn't. We should probably get out of here before they come back. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing else that you need here? No, just my movies. Well, I think I'm gonna take a little souvenir. Something I've had my eye on ever since we came in here. The little pig riding a Twinkie. All right, let's go now. Half in the bag. I hate movies so much. Mmm. Beer. Mike, we're supposed to be working. Yeah, I know. Well, it's time to start. Let's see, what do we have here? This is a Nintendo 64. Wow. They individually numbered these things. Oh. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, I hope whoever owns this can find Nintendo's 1 through 63 or 65 up because I'm probably going to fucking break this. No. Oh. I'll do what I can though. I, I, I don't know. Well, what's. Is this our service request? It's a service request. Uh, it doesn't work. Well, geez, that's pretty fucking vague. Mm. Uh, well, it probably needs power. I gotta open it somehow. I should probably use tools. Oh, doesn't this work? Like, I think you're supposed to blow into the other end. Oh, the oh, the cassette. The, the, the yeah, the cartridge. The, they like call the, them the 8-tracks. Right? Yeah, the, yeah, you have to blow into that. <sighs> Look, Jay, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, Mike, we work for Jack and Rich now. At least until we can figure out how to get the store back. But Jay, I don't know anything about video games or video game systems. I mean, look at this. This looks like something a Vorto would wear in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I don't know what that means. What I'm trying to say is, I have no idea how to repair a video game console. Look, Mike, just think of it like a VCR. It works just like a VCR. Well, it does? Oh. I'll be. Well, I might as well test it. Just trying to get it in there so I could test it to see if it plays. No, no, Mike. What? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, no, Mike. Maybe just the reel goes in there like this. Like, like. How, how would you possibly play the tape now? What? I'm sorry, what? It's not an actual VCR. Oh, that was an analogy. God, I'm so stupid. Oh my God, look at this mess. Um, look, it's our new bosses, Rich and Jack. 
Uh, hey guys, I, I just wanted to thank you two for watching the store while we're gonna be away. Mm -hmm. Now that we've hired you two clowns, Rich and I can finally go to E3. It's the, uh, the big video game convention in California. Uh, I did mention that we're, we're staying in separate hotel rooms, right? No, you didn't mention that. Oh, be because we are. We, we, we have two different, different rooms. Why are you mentioning that? What does that matter? Well, we gotta go. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. guys. Bye. Have fun at the convention. Say hi to Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> I mean, say hi to Mr. Pac-Man. No, Mike, it's just Pac-Man. What? It's not Mr. Pac-Man. It's just Pac-Man. That doesn't make any sense. That's quite sexist. Nope. And they're gone. That doesn't look comfortable. Oh, it's not. It really hurt. So instead of talking about movies, we should probably be working on a plan to take back the shop, right? Yep. Hmm. Don't worry, Jay. We have all the time in the world. Watch this. <laughs> And they thought time travel was so hard to figure out. I gotta figure it out right now. <laughs> Scientists, what do they know? You really think you're doing something, don't you? I'm sorry, what? Half in the bag. Get this shit off my cabinet. Hello and welcome to Half in the Bag. I'm Jay. And I'm Mike. And we just saw Terminator, Tales from Genesis Space. That's right, Jay. Uh, sure. You know, like all sorts of crazy stuff. Like that's that of the Wild West. Whoa, we made it. Come with me if you want to live. I said, come with me if you want to live. Half in the bag. Get out of my car and into my dreams. God, this job is so boring. It's putting me to sleep faster than Bill Cosby. Hey, did you hear Bill Cosby was recently spotted at an AA meeting? Really? I didn't know Bill Cosby was an alcoholic. Oh no, it was a meeting for amateur anesthesiologists. <laughs> hey, did you know Bill Cosby used to do ads for puddin' pops? Well now pops is putting it in them. <laughs> Hey, did you know Bill Cosby kept all of his sweaters from The Cosby Show? Really? Those sweaters always seem so hot and stuffy to me. Yeah, he'd let the ladies wear them, hoping they'd pass out. Hey, Jay, how do Bill Cosby's dates spell Jell-O? How? Oh. J-E-L. Hey, do you know what Bill Cosby's wife's nickname for him is? What's that? Serial rapist. Well, it's nine o'clock. It's time to close up shop. Mm -hmm. Yep, another day wasted, another dollar earned. Hey, wait a minute. We've been watching this video game repair shop for months now. We haven't gotten paid. Yeah, those fuckers are taking advantage of us. I hope they fucking die. Well, that's a little harsh. Be careful what you wish for, Jay. W wish for what? That you fucking die! Uh, he means diet. We hope that you diet. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Jack, you fat motherfucker. I hope you die it. Well, we're back from our uh, game convention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go see Pixels. I, I guess you guys could come with if you wanted. Fuck no. Oh, God. Oh, um, 
I got this. Okay. Yeah, we'll go see Pixels with you guys. I love Adam Sandler films, but on the way there, can we stop by the bank, you know, so you guys could pay us for all the shifts that we've worked for you? Yeah, 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 yeah uh, l l let's go see Pixels. We would love to pay you. Why didn't he say that like a question? I don't know, it was very suspicious. I don't think they have any intention to pay us, but let's go watch Pixels starring Adam Sandler and friends. There's nothing I can think of that I would love to do less. Half in the bag. Oh. <sighs> well, we're uh, back from the movie theater. Sure are. Just saw Pixels. Uh, yep, that's right. Uh huh. Uh, Jay, we forgot to stop at the bank. Oh shit! I completely forgot. It's okay. I don't think these guys have any intention of paying us, anyways. Listen, I have a plan. They have a safe in the back, and I'm pretty sure it's filled with cash. When we get a chance. We're gonna go back there, and I'm gonna pick the lock and break into it. Okay. I'm just gonna fucking take all their money. If these fuckers won't pay so us. So guys, I'll... Jay, Mike, what did you think of Pixels? Oh, uh, let's let's discuss Pixels. We're gonna talk about that now, huh? Okay. Why are you looking around awkwardly? Uh, do you have a safe? Uh... Of, of course we do. For all of our, our daily large cash uh, that we handle. A lot of cash that we handle here, keeping the safe in the back. Why? That's a weird question. Well, I just, I saw it back there and uh, I was wondering what the combination was. Well, the combination is 35, uh, 22, well, um, what? Oh. I was waiting for you to stop me. Oh, no. no. I was waiting no, no. <laughs> That's funny. I, I, yeah, yeah, you can keep going. I like, I like just giving it to Was that a 20, 25, a 22, the second number? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I get this, the first two. You want, you want to do that where I just do the whole thing then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, I mean, like, you know, we're all friends here. I mean, you guys have been working at the store. You should know the combination to the safe to make all the cash. Well, deposits. yeah, I, we, you never gave it to us, yeah. and, and nobody actually came into the store, and, you know. But you know, I just I saw a safe, and you know, I was, you know, I, I've, I maybe Al Capone put his stuff in there. You know, what's the number? Well, I'm glad we all went to the movies together. I hope our time here together doesn't end in horrific violence. <sighs> well, I think we're finally done talking about pixels. You're fired. What? Yeah, but thank you so much for helping out at the shop. We really appreciate it. Uh, all right, that's fair, I guess. But you guys do plan to pay us, right? You know, for all the shifts we took? I, I, I don't recall ever discussing a payment. I, I thought you guys were just doing it because you liked us. Who are you kidding? Nobody likes you. Get out. Fine, you win for now, nerds. We'll leave, but first we'd like to go in the back. We left some personal items back there we need to collect. They're next to your safe, which we have the combination to. Okay. Great. That's no That's no problem. <laughs> I told you those guys were pushovers. Right, no paycheck, no more VCR repair shop. <laughs> 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 Jay and Mike, you fuckers left me to freeze to death on that mountain, and for that, you're going to die. No, 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 him, you hit him for no. Bonza Daljevic, you son of a bitch. VCR! 
Why didn't you fix my VCR? I just wanted to watch Night Court and you tried to freeze me to death! Take that, Mike and Jay! You motherfuckers left me on a mountain to die! Almost starved to death in goddamn Nepal! Well, that was disappointing. I can't believe they have the only existing copy of The Day the Clown Cried. Who cares? Is that worth anything? It is to Jerry Lewis. Hmm. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's a bloodbath! Burn in hell, you motherfuckers! Mr. Plinkett? What? Who's that? Who's talking? I can't see anything. My glasses are too frosted from the fucking cold. Oh. Oh, um... um. Why, my name is Mark. And I'm Jim. Oh, what do you guys do? Um, we repair VCRs. Oh, oh, that's great, because I need my VCR fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. I'll be right back. So cold. Half in the bag. Doctor Doom is the gr top five greatest characters to ever come off of a comic book you know, panel. He's one of the greatest characters ever conceived in the 20th century. He's, um, you know. <sighs> well, that was disappointing. Yeah, after six hours of cleaning up blood, all we wanted to do was see Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Yeah, who would have thought after three weeks the movie would still be selling out? They should have just called it Admission Impossible. Well, it's a good thing they made a new Fantastic Four movie. Plenty of seats left for that. Oh my god, so many seats. But I was still disappointed though. Why, because the movie was so terrible? No, because I was hoping it was going to be a re-release of my favorite 1990s golf training video, Fantastic Four! Mike, why would movie theaters in the year 2015 need to re-release a golf video from the 90s? I don't know, Jay. You tell me. That's right, sir. Mm-hmm. I understand you want to watch your night court tape as soon as possible. All right, we'll be there soon. Thanks, Mr. Plinkett. Goodbye. Who was that? That was Mr. Plinkett. Oh. Jay, get your snow gear on. We're heading up to Mr. Plinkett's house to fix his VCR again. Fix his VCR? We're doing that again? Mm-hmm. Why do I need snow gear? Because his house is on top of a fucking mountain and it's freezing cold. Oh, are we still doing that? I remember his house is on the mountain. I, I know. I thought maybe we would just skip past that. <laughs> Half in the bag. I'm filled with more gas than the Hindenburg. Yes, I know you want to watch your night court tape, Mr. Plinkett. We, listen to me. We tried coming to your house, but it was gone. There was an expressway there. What, what, I don't want to go back out again. Listen, just give us the address of where you're at. Wait, let me write down the address. Mountain. Did you have a pen? Wait, that's the whole address? Mountain? Ask him which mountain. There's more than one. Which mountain? Magic Mountain? Mountain Dew? Mount Doom? Castle Grayskull? Mount Rushmore? Mount Rush Less? Look, we're gonna have to call you back. You're starting to break up. Why is there an article about canine aquatics in a VCR magazine? Well, there was a craze in the 1980s where people were using 
VCRs as dog surfboards. Oh. It was a very short lived, because so were most of the dogs. <laughs> People forgot to unplug the VCRs. See, that was the thing. Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What is that shit? <laughs> this is where it's at. This is the, this is, the, it just doesn't even work anymore. Ah, such comfort in design. Such flawless execution. Everyone should own one of these. I agree, I agree. Oh my goodness, the phone is ringing. Oh my God. Lightning fast VCR repair. Uh, yes, we do screenplay consulting. Uh, let me just get your name down. Uh, the Max Landis, is it L-A-N-D-I-S? Yeah, we'll take a look at it and give you some thoughts. Yeah. Hey, I, I saw you in that, uh, that film about the, the marine dog. I, I thought it was excellent, and I thought you did a really good job. Especially your, your delivery on the line, woof! Ruff, 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 was especially perfect. <laughs> yes, I didn't know you wrote scripts. Yeah, what, do you have a special device that translates your barks in, into dialogue, or do you use, do, you, do your paws mash down on the keyboard? Okay, Max. All right, we'll talk later, bye. Half in the bag. I can't stop watching movies. Yes, you elderly fuck. We'll be there to fix your fucking VCR already. Will you quit calling? I don't know. As soon as we can. Yeah, we'll be there. Okay, fine. Fuck. Let me guess. Mr. Plinkett wants us to climb the mountain to get to his house to fix his VCR so he can watch his night court tape. Yes, and I told him we'd do it because he offered us a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? I don't want to climb no mountain for no hundred bucks. Jay, ever since we took over the shop again, nobody's come in. It's been like weeks. Yeah. I need money. I have a Darth Vader toaster to buy. You already have a toaster. I got it for you as a gift for your bar mitzvah. Yeah, but it's not a Darth Vader head toaster. Yeah. I'm gonna throw out that perfectly good toaster and replace it with my Darth Vader head toaster. I need it. I need it! What grown, virginal, 48-year-old man-child's kitchen is complete without a Darth Vader toaster? Well, I guess it has been a while since we paid that old man a visit. Speaking of that... Yes, I, I have. Oh, well that's good. I'm glad you got tested, Jay, because AIDS is not a laughing matter. Oh, I thought you were gonna ask if I saw the visit. Why would I ask that? Just randomly? Well, I, I said something about a visit. So we were gonna pay that old man a visit? Is this a segue into the, the movie? Oh, the new M. Night Shyamalan movie? Yeah. Oh no, I, I didn't see that. Why would I see that? <laughs> Why would you watch an M. Night Shyamalan movie? <laughs> All right. I'm all set. I got my snow gear on. Mike, I think you're gonna need something a little warmer than that. We are going to the top of Mount Everest. Everest? Everest. The top? Yes. Huh. That's where Plankett's house is. Doesn't sound cold. It's not Mount Snow or Mount Cold or Mount Freezing Cold. Everest. That sounds like a tropical resort. So based on this logic alone, I'm just going to wear these gloves. Okay, let's go. Mr. Plinkett will be right there. Mr. Plinkett's voice sounds a lot like a dial tone lately. Huh. We're going, come on. Oh, you go first. Okay. I'm gonna document our trip just like the little girl documented their trip. Well, make sure you bring your extension cord. Okay. 
So we'll have it to, doesn't power without being yeah. plugged in. Yeah. So you, what, what you're saying, Jay, is that we'll have to run an extension cord up Mount Everest. Up Mount Everest. Yeah. We'll bring two just to be safe. Yeah, maybe three. <laughs> maybe we should bring three. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Gonna document the trip. Gonna document the trip up Mount Everest. Gonna document the trip up Mount Everest. <laughs> Half in the bag. Ain't nothing funnier than a good old fashioned poop joke. Well, Jay, we made it all the way to camp two. Actually, I think we're at camp three. Or maybe the second step. I don't know, I'm not keeping track. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see what the big deal is anyways. I mean, all people had to do was run a couple of thousand extension cords up the mountain and they'd have hot coffee just like us. <laughs> Stupid people. <laughs> yeah, what a bunch of suckers. Can you believe people actually die up here? I'm not even cold yet because I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah, if a couple of VCR repairmen can make it all the way up here, then any stupid, fat, lazy, idiotic, moronic, dumb, moo cow flyover person from the Midwest could do it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, did you pack a bottle of booze into your supply bag that has limited space? Well, yeah, I just brought a little Bailey's, you know, splash into my coffee. What's the big deal? Just, just, you know, just a little splash into my coffee. What's the problem? Mike, I think you have a problem. Oh? You didn't put enough in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you think I was going to say? <sighs> you know, any rich asshole can pay some Sherpa to hold their hand and walk up a mountain. God. You and I, we're gonna be the first people to make it to the top of Mount Everest wasted. Fuck yeah. And that's good too, Jay, because I took out all of your insulin to make room for this. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I brought this. There's not much in it. Wine, why not? So, you know, you gotta, you gotta bring a little Pinot. <laughs> you know? Actually, this, this is empty. <laughs> but but say, hey, who needs the space, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this one's clearly full. That one's for me. <clears throat> hey, Mike, have you seen Everest? Well, of course I've seen Everest. I'm on it. No, I meant the movie. <laughs> Some sake. Oh, yeah, I've seen. <laughs> oh, my God. Well,. Oh, geez. I guess we should get going. Well, we only have another 5,000 feet to go. Or maybe 10,000, I don't know. <sighs> hey, you know, our plan was to make it to the top of Mount Everest completely blackout drunk. You mean no Irish have ever made it up there? No. I mean, if we're gonna do that, we should probably hang out here, drink a little more, you know, get our pregame on. Yeah, pregame. Yeah. I have all this booze. Sure, should we talk about some more movies? Fuck yeah, okay, yeah. Well, I see movies all the time, I got so much to talk about. I'm gonna watch one right now. Okay, do you get reception on your phone up on Mount Everest? <clears throat> no. Well, it's a good thing alcohol doesn't freeze. Half in the bag. Ain't nothing funnier than a good old fashioned poop joke. Mmm, <laughs> I love coffee with a little splash of Bailey's. That, there's no coffee in there. Mmm. I just said that. Well, Jay, it's getting on in the year. The year's almost over. There's only one more movie to look forward to. What's that? The Hunger Games, part four. Mocking Jay, part two. Oh, of course. Oh, and. I don't know. I guess that's Star Wars things coming out. Oh, are they still doing those? Yeah, they're still making them. Well, I guess we should continue on our way. We're only 5,000 feet from Plinkett's house. Or maybe 10,000, I don't know. Well, as long as we have enough extension cord, I still plan on making my documentary film. I'm going to document our trip, just like the little girl documented their trip. Well, make sure you bring your extension cord. Okay. We'll this to, doesn't power without being yeah. plugged in. Yeah, so you, what, what you're saying, Jay, is that we'll have to run an extension cord up Mount Everest. Up Mount Everest. Yeah. We'll bring two just to be safe. Yeah, maybe three. <laughs> maybe we should bring three. <laughs> Come on. 
Remember, I brought the video camera. It's in my satchel. It fit in there with all the booze? Yeah. I'll take your word for it. Because I'm going to videotape our adventures up Mount Everest. Why haven't you done that yet? Well, I did a little early on. I didn't see it. Yeah. We'll have to leave the coffee maker behind. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Will you hold this? Yes. Okay. If they can leave dead bodies on Mount Everest, we can leave a coffee maker. Yeah, I mean, Jesus I'm supposed Christ. to complain about that. Let's go! Okay. Hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> Hi ho, hi ho ho, <laughs> hi ho silver. Half in the bag. I'm filled with more gas than the Hindenburg. Whew. Oh man, it's cold out there. Yeah. Well, somehow the electricity is still on. Hmm. Mr. Plinkett? Mr. Plinkett, hello, we're here. Hmm, doesn't look like he's here. Well, he called us to come up and fix his fucking VCR. He better be here. Maybe we should just sit down and wait for him to get back. All right. Hmm. Wonder where he went. Ugh. Well, what do you say we talk about some feature films? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess uh, we're going to have to watch Rhinestone over and 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 over again until Mr. Plinkett comes back. Oh my God, am I in heaven? <laughs> this should just be a, a an infinity simple on here. Get ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna have all these pills. Okay. Half in the bag. Fuck movies. Budweiser, you created a monster, and they call him Freaking Stein. In the tavern down the street. Jay, I can't do it anymore. I can't watch this fucking movie anymore. You know, if I had a gun and two bullets. I would use them both on me to make sure it didn't fail. I just can't watch fucking Rhinestone again. I just can't! Hey Mike, I just thought of something. What's that? We came up here to fix Mr. Plinkett's VCR, right? Yes, genius. What about it? Well, clearly it's working because we've watched Rhinestone on it 12 times now. Oh my god. Yeah. You're right. It has power and everything. And it has a gigantic red bow on it. Well, that's odd. How did you not notice that when you put the tape in the first place? Or every subsequent time when you rewound it and hit play again? Hey, there's a note on this. Mm -hmm. To Plinkett, from Santa. From Santa? Oh my god, Plinkett must be really losing his mind up here. Oh shit, he's here. Oh, it's Plinkett. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Plinkett. Oh, hey guys. Oh, you're here. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, that means you can get to work fixing my VCR. Oh, we will, right after we drink these beers. Hey, you should be careful out there. It's very cold outside. You don't even have a proper winter coat on. Oh, no, I was just at my new best friend's house, Chris Kringle. Yeah, he lives on the other side of the mountain. Yeah, big place. Lots of little people running around making toys. His wife's kind of a bitch, though. Actually, I just stop by here for a minute. Hmm. That's not a justification for him not wearing a winter coat, though. It's not. It doesn't make any sense. He's gonna, he's gonna get the frostbite. Yeah, Chris asked me to bring him some milk and cookies. Kind of a weird request. Oh, well, get back to work. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we're going to start working on this real soon here. Oh, God, it's so fucking cold! Jay, it sounds like he's talking about Santa Claus. Sure does. But I thought Santa lived at the North Pole. Well, Santa doesn't live anywhere because he's not real. He's not? Well, who's been giving me coal all these years? Well, I guess we should get back to work fixing the VCR. Mike, the VCR isn't broken. We already went through all this. Oh, well, I guess we should get back to work breaking the VCR so that we can get back to work fixing the VCR. Okay. Well, Jay, it looks like we've secured another six to 12 months of paychecks. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that Chris. Oh, he's such a wacky guy. I love that guy. Oh, hi, Mr. Plinkett. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, I was just telling my new friend, Chris Kringle, about you. You didn't tell him I've been naughty, did you? Oh, no, I told him you guys really like movies. It's true, it's true, it's true. we do. It's true. It's true. We've been talking about really him for like true. five yeah, fucking years. We've talked about movies a lot. And because Chris is such a super generous guy, he used his special satellite dish to steal a whole bunch of new Hollywood movies. Jay, I think Santa Claus is pirating movies. Mike, shh. So to entice you guys to work faster, I had him put them on a bunch of VHS tapes. Let's see. We got Alvin and the Chipmunks, Road Chip. Uh, How many of these have they made now? Concussion. Concussion. Ride along two. Was there a ride along one? Yeah. Who do they ride along with? I don't know. Zoolander two. And the nut job two. Is this a porno? Well, it's an early one because they've made up to nut job 17. I've seen them all. What? I, I thought he said new movies. What, wait, what? What, are we, what did you say? What? Let's just move on, shall we? Uh-huh. Well, I think that's everything. What? No Hateful Eight, The Revenants, or Hail Caesar, the new Coen Brothers movie that looks like the most Coen Brothers movie that the Coen Brothers have ever Coened? No, no, oh wait, no, I, think it's, I think there's one last one in here. Uh, something called Star Wars The Force Awakens. Well, shit. Half in the bag. Fuck movies. <sighs> well, that's it. We put the VCR back together. <sighs> All right. <sighs> well, Jay. Years of anticipation have finally led to this moment. That's right, Mike. I can't wait to finally watch Star Wars The Force Awakens so I can say it was pretty good and then forget about it in a day. Me too, Jay. Me too. Hello, Harry. Oh, hello, ma'am. We, uh, Harry's not home right now. We don't know where he went, actually. Are you his new best friend, Chris? Why, yes, I am. Christopher Kringle. I live on the other side of the mountain. 
Well, we were just sitting down to watch Star Wars The Force Awakens, the new J.J. Abrams film. Do you want to join us? I've already seen it. It sucked. But I'd be delighted to watch it again. Okay, okay. Mike, I think that's Santa Claus. Is that Santa Claus? I think it really is. It really is. I waited my whole life to meet Santa Claus. Oh. He seems like a little bit of a pretentious asshole. Well, uh, are you ready, sir, to watch Star Wars The Force Awakens? Here we go. Is this in Pan and Scan? Why, it's in Letterbox. No. Oh. Is that where they put the black bars on the top and the bottom? I don't like that. Why do they cut off half the picture? They can save 25% on film stock that way. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Heroes on both sides. Oh no, this is the wrong Star Wars movie. Right. Yes, well you see, it's a, it's a super sophisticated system. When, when Hollywood uploads a film to their servers, it's encrypted. But my satellite is up so high on Mount Everest that I can steal the signal before it's ever been encrypted. Hmm. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. But probably really, really illegal. Yes, totally. Huh. Hmm. Hey, you know, Mr. Plinkett mentioned something about you having a bunch of little people that make toys. Ah, yes. A homeless shelter for legless midgets burnt down in Honduras a few years ago. And, well, I decided to take in some refugees. Why, in exchange for food and shelter, they manufacture sex toys for my wife's business. Everbreast. Yes, dildos, rubber pussies, and whatnot. <sighs> Plinkett thinks she has a stick up her ass, but really, it's an anal plug. Wow, that's fucked up and weird. Yes, it's essentially free midget slave labor. I can get away with all kinds of illegal shit up here because nobody can find me. That's why I built my mansion way on top of Mount Everest. Well, I've got to get going. Please do tell Harry to bring over that bourbon. I'm afraid I have to get smashing drunk because my wife is a cunt. My wife is a cunt who literally makes cunts. She makes rubber cunts. She makes literal fucking cunts. I mean, all of my daughters, they're all fuckers. My, my wife, she is a cunt who makes rubber cunts and also makes literal cunts in the form of my fucking whore daughters. Oh well, I've got to get going, ta-ta. Oh my God, did he just say that? Uh, wait, 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 Chris, I just wanted to say, it was really nice of you to leave Mr. Plinkett that VCR. VCR? Well, I never left Plinkett a VCR. Oh, and do remember, vote Trump! Uh, Jay, if he didn't leave the VCR, then who did? <laughs>